Everyone loves rivers, but how healthy are they? Whilst we have made considerable progress with sewage and industrial pollution, some badly managed farms are killing much-loved wildlife in the water environment. So this looks like a lovely clear stream with clean water that you'd think you'd be able to drink, but actually this is a very polluted stream because of all the silt and, and soil effectively which is being washed off farmers' fields whenever it rains heavily. On well-managed soils, water soaks into the ground and recharges aquifers to keep rivers flowing healthily at times of drought. When soil is compacted though, or left without a cover crop, water washes off the surface in vast quantities, causing widespread pollution and flooding people's homes. If we get heavy rain, especially in the winter, Huge amounts of soil, slurry, fertiliser and pesticides run off agricultural land. And no matter whether it flows into a ditch, onto a road or down a drain, all these pollutants end up in our lovely rivers where they kill insects and fish and damage vital habitat. Um, and you can see that if I move my feet around amongst the gravel like this, and that disturbs all this soil, and you can see it all coming up into the water. And that's the colour of this stream after heavy rain, which means that instead of being clean, this is actually a very polluted stream, which has an impact on the invertebrates and fish that live in it. So this gravel here in the bed of the river is a vital habitat, not only for, for invertebrates, the insects which uh, are food for fish, but also for fish themselves. They lay their eggs in amongst this uh, gravel. It's like a nest for them. So trout and salmon, but also barbel and chub will lay their eggs in amongst these gaps between the stones. But if it's, um, if it's uh, polluted with silt, then all those gaps, those little gaps between the stones get filled up with, uh, with silt. We can see here there's a little uh, invertebrate which is uh, uh, living under that and that will uh, hatch out one day and become a, f a flying insect. And that's food for fish but also for all the birds that we can hear singing around us. So this little habitat needs to be preserved and we need to keep silt and soil out of our rivers and keep it on the fields where it can grow crops. So what the Angling Trust wants to see is better regulation of the agriculture industry to stop pollution getting into our streams and affecting the fish, the invertebrates, the birds, all the wildlife that we love to see associated with these very, very special places.